Alright, so today we want to look at multiplying polynomials. And how we're going to do that is we're going to use what's called the FOIL method. And FOIL, being spelled F O I L, is actually an acronym for uh, F meaning first, O meaning outer, I meaning inner, and L meaning last. So let's look at what that means in terms of a sample problem. So let's say we have the two binomials uh, x minus 5 and x plus 7. What, I'm refer what we're going to do is we're first going to multiply the first terms, meaning the first term in each binomial. So I'm going to take x times x and I'm going to get x squared. The second thing I'm going to multiply is the outer terms, so this term and this term. And I'm going to get 7x. The next thing I'll multiply is the inner terms, which is this term and this term. Don't forget the negative, so it's going to be negative 5x. And then the last thing is the last term and the last term, which is negative 35. Combine any like terms, I get x squared um, plus 2x minus 35, and that's my final answer, using the FOIL method to multiply two binomials. So let's take a look at another example. If we had... Um, 2x, or I'm sorry, 2y plus 3 times the quantity 6y minus 7. We take our first terms, 2y and 6y, which is going to give us 12y squared. We take our outer terms, 2y and negative 7, which will give us negative 14y. We take our inner terms, 3 and 6y, to give us 18y. We take our last terms, which are 3 and negative 7, multiply to give us negative 21. So combining my like terms in the middle, I get 12y squared plus 4y minus 21 for my final answer. All right, so let's say I have a binomial and I'm taking it multiplying it by a trinomial. So something like 4x plus 9 multiplied by 2x squared minus 5x plus 3. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute each term to that second quantity. So first we'll distribute the 4x. We get 8x cubed if I take 4x times 2x squared. 4x times negative 5x is negative 20x squared. 4x times 3 is 12x. Now I'm going to distribute that 9. So 9 times 2x squared is 18x squared. 9 times negative 5x is negative 45x. 9 times 3 is 27. So I'm going to combine my like terms. 8x cubed, a negative 20x, and 18x squared gives me a negative 2x squared. 12x and negative 45x is actually going to give me negative 33x. And then we're left with 27. And I have my final answer in descending order. So let's take a look at one more like that, which is... Um, now we have two trinomials multiplied together. So y squared minus 2y plus 5 multiplied by 6y squared minus 3y plus 1. So I'm going to again distribute all the terms. So we'll take first term. y squared times 6y squared is 6y to the fourth. Um, y squared times negative 3y is negative 3y cubed. y squared times 1 is y squared. 
So then we'll take the second term and distribute it. Negative 2y times 6y squared is negative 12y cubed. Negative 2y times negative 3y is 6y squared. Negative 2y times 1 is negative 2y. 5 times 6y squared is 30y squared. 5 times negative 3y is negative 15y. 5 times 1 is 5. So now I'm going to combine my like terms. We get 6y to the 4th. Um, now we have negative 3y cubed and negative 12y cubed is going to give me negative 15y cubed. Um, y squared and 6y squared will give me 7y squared. And then we also have 30y squared. I forgot to combine that in. So let me get rid of the terms I've gotten rid of so far. All right, so we have negative 2y and negative 17y, or 15y gives me negative 17y. And then we have that 5 tagging along at the end. Um, now we have 6y to the 4th minus 15y cubed. Uh, plus 37y squared minus 17y plus 5, and that is my big long final answer.